Hello and welcome everyone back to some 70 star Super Mario 64 league action. We've got the league standings there in front of you. TLG Cheese with the lead 143 points, but Punk Case closely behind with 142. D whatever following up in third and Proto in fourth. Get those league standings. Of course, if you want to check that out, exclamation point bracket in chat to make sure to stay up to date with that. This race we've got draws versus para i've got i've got my guy my guy electric back in the booth with me how do you feel about this race man i i'm feeling good about it these guys um draws of course the short category titan has been making some waves in 70 star he's one of those players though that has a lot of speed but not necessarily a ton of consistency some of the time I mean, while Para is just a huge veteran of this game, has so many of those RTA records on the spreadsheet, he, in races, tends to kind of go a little bit more consistently than Draws does. I, you know, it, it's really anyone's race, I feel like. It, it's really going to come down to who's on an on day, who's on an off day. Hopefully, Para a little more comfortable with the start order this time around. Looks like he's going to be rocking the JP cart just due to his familiarity with the text and such. Oh, thanks so much, Crooked Cop. Well... We've got two titans of the red, white, and blue. Para hailing from Australia. Draws from America. Got the webcam on Para's side, so we'll be able to see some reactions there. Draws in the dark, though. Not sure how he's going to play like this, but that's fine. And Para confirming in chat that uh, he doesn't own a U.S. card. Got it. <laughs> uh, so Somehow we're going to start a GoFundMe for Para to get an English card. Yeah, I've, I've wondered like about that before. <laughs> in, in other, well, it's twenty bucks in America, but I wonder how much it would be in Australia. I'll ship it to him. <laughs> <laughs> Para hit me up. I'll ship it to you. <laughs> but we have got the start. Para obviously getting a little bit earlier of a start than Draws, just simply because of the version difference. But it will equalize back over to Draws, which we will have about a three second. Uh, Lee just with that version difference. Yahoo! Yep. Uh, by the way, Draws, it's not that Draws doesn't have a cam, he's playing in a cave. Yeah, so, um, he, he's using a night vision goggles to look at a mm -hmm. completely dark television screen. That's, that's why even the light from that isn't reflecting off his cam. Well, in to BOB. Two lag, two skips. Nothing too difficult. And Draws actually taking kind of an interesting dive in the lobby right onto that fence. Not sure if you... Oh, what is this? Ooh. Para for Island Hop yet again. Not, not sure getting away from these strats. This is his signature. Uh, not shying away from it. He gets the first E. Oh! Man, the big bonk there. He's going to be losing some pretty considerable time to Draws here. You can kind of see the head nod, you know, as he took the dive. Just kind of like, okay, yeah, missed it. No big deal. Man, that, that's a really unfortunate way to end up starting out this race. Let's see if, yeah, Paris is going to go ahead and go for Sky Jump later on. I, I really respect that. But get those guesses out in the chat. I think Draws is going to pull out a 12-6 for us. And Para, I'm going to go ahead and say a 12-7. 12-7 draws. Your right guess, wrong person. Come on, Para, give us that 12-6. Just bounce off the corner, and it's a 12-6. Exactly reversed. I... I, I, I said that Para would get the 12-6 and draws the 12-7. That, that, that's what I said. Y'all yeah. can't go back and find evidence. You that, guys misheard it. No, yeah. you misheard it. That's what it was. And it's opposite day, didn't you know? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Into Womp's Fortress now. Again, collecting all these stars. Yeah, very, very quick stage, but certainly a very big uh, speed bump at the very beginning of this run. Draws with a... Pro cycle. Yep. So moving in on these coins. I think he's going to be good. Looks like his movement was clean enough. Yep. Very, very nice. 
Now Para with the clean cannonless as well. Going ahead and opting for these really, really difficult trick stars for as opposed to the hundred coin. Yeah, opting for the full setup. Interesting, you know, I haven't seen a whole lot of people, a whole lot of uh, many runners doing the uh, texture setup. Uh, actually choosing to do that longer setup a little bit more consistent here in races especially and even in d1 yeah you just don't want to mess with cannonless now para very unfortunately uh getting just not uh i think he tried to roll out too quickly and so uh he just abandoned the 100 coin entirely since he knew he wasn't going to be able to make that pro cycle go ahead and take a little bit less time loss with that backup and since he's already got cannonless he isn't wasting his backup for uh that at least and the dive goes better this time around let's we'll see if he can maintain this pace draws moving up for owlis and it's good nice first try para does manage to get that pro cycle this time around He's got a little bit of a deficit compared to draw. Oh, missing oh. the blue coin. That He's RNG was playing in his favor. Got to wait around for this one. Oh, that RNG was horrendous. At least he got decent RNG on that second Piranha. The coin spawning right where he needed the side flip. Yeah, that, that blue coin just yeeting away from Mario. Got that nice coin line ending. This draw is going to take care of Wild Blue. Ferris still has to deal with Owlus. And then both of them will be moving on to the Womp Battle and that top of the Fortress. Nice progress, though. Overall, Womps is kind of being kind of these guys. Especially Draws. Draws is on a very, very solid run at the moment. Yeah, so far draws no mistakes at all. Para going for you know those harder strats, obviously going to be going to be more likely that he makes mistakes, as we've seen so far. Draws taking on big Womp, oh, right boy. there. Maybe a little bit of commentator's curse, but right there, a mistake. Another oh, one again. He, he's he's trying for these extremely low pounds and finally getting the optimal pound on that one, but. Losing a decent chunk of time to the King Womp now. So we want Para playing it very, very well. Oh, that beautiful final hit. Yeah, Dra Draws has some uh, chinks in the armor. You know, playing flawless up to that five and a half minute mark. Now we've got top of the fortress coming up. Let's see what strats Draws decided to pull out here. Offense clip, but of course. The triple jump, not opting for that D whatever double jump top special. Oh, Para, somehow, I, I'm not even exactly sure what happened there. Side flip a little bit too early on the side here. Falling all the way back down and, of course, having to wait for the moving platform to retract again. But for now, Draws, I think, is going to pull out another 12-7 for it. A 12-5. Ooh. Very, very slick time. That is the fastest time that you're going to see in a 70-star speed run. Technically, faster times are possible, but they require more setup. So they end up wasting time uh, in a full 70 run. Oh, Para, let's see what he can pull out here. A 12-5 as well. Okay. Wow. Matching each other. Not playing around. Time for time, man. Now, draws with a little bit of a uh, missed angled first flight up to those uh, first two coins. The other one's looking very, very nice, though. Yeah, not too deep arcs. Playing it sort of safe. Para trying to hold on to that speed. Deep arc there. A little bit smoother flying than draws looks like. 
as Draw's moving on into Dark World. Let's see what cycle he's going to be aiming for here. Para, oh, just barely missing the button. Decided to just go ahead and take the text. And Para and others confirming in chat that 12-4 uh, is actually possible with the standard setup. Did not know that. Looks like Draws is gonna take comfort in a shig. Yep. And that fancy Shia cycle elevator movement. Let's see how Para does this. Para, a huge advocate of the box. Roll out strat draws! Misses the platform narrowly. Oh no. That is that's one of the worst places to die in the stage with that para in a decent lead now. Para just has to pull off this dark world successfully. And he'll be clutching onto a really nice lead, more than likely leaving the lobby. Gonna take Pav Shig. Looks like he's good to go. Goombas can be a tad ferocious, but it looks like they're out of the way this time. Missing the wall kick, though. Just, just cannot get the wall kick to work. Finally, <laughs> getting a little bit further away from the wall in order to make sure that it comes out. But Mario's a certain uh, close distance to the wall. The wall kick will actually not even register. It's just impossible. Yeah, this spaghetti here in Dark World from both these guys. Para with the firm lead. Essentially a Bowser fight separating these two guys right now. Para with a nice, nice throw. Bowser doing the same. And a quick controller speed swap strats. Para, unfortunately, having to go for Sky Jump into that Island Hop fail. Oh, Para's going to be pulling out this uh, sliding strat. To take a really nice amount of speed going towards this wind cap box. And Dross is going to be going for the same. Oh, Para with the rollout strat. Beautiful stuff. Here we go. See what draws decides to pull out to finish this up. Just go straight for the box, but isn't able to get directly underneath it. We're losing a little bit of extra time there. As we head into CCM. see what Pear's going to do in CCM. Expecting both of these guys to go for CCM 17. Yeah, kind of a uh, normal thing to see here in D1. A couple of uh, racers here and there might not go for it, but Barra, right off the bat, missing that dive onto the platform. Just, uh, maybe not a good camera angle to finish it up. I think but it was more so the uh, wall kick angle. So I, I Oh, draws. draws! Getting the bonk instead of the uh, missed dive. Spaghetti everywhere. Wall kick's just not working the way they're supposed to for these guys. Here we go with a nice penguin slide. And of course, has to jump over the mama's head in order to grab this resulting star, unlike Draws, who... Just has to do a jump right beside. Oh, he, he drops Draws. the penguin just a little bit early. <laughs> For whatever reason, the mom doesn't care that you brought her kid back until you're holding the kid. No, what Draws was trying to do was be... Oh, well, Para with the uh, tree grab there, but I think what Draws was trying to do there was be the humble uh, servant bringing back the little penguin without needing to start, you know, just being like, you know, I'll bring back the, I'll bring back the little penguin. I don't need to start. It's all good. Yeah, no reward. No Who's reward necessary. Draws the white knight. Now we've got pair committing and of course draws as well to that CCM 17 routing.
Nice slide from Para. Slide nowhere near as nerve wracking as it would be with the penguin race. As oh, draws, no! misses the, that entire arch of coins. Oh no. Yeah, he, he needs every coin on this slide now. Okay, I think that the arch is like seven or so coins. How, how is he gonna make that up? I I think he might have to take the warp back to the top and uh actually grab the uh blues or something. I, I'm not exactly sure. Because well, there's he, four oh okay, okay, he's actually fine. Yeah, he he just needs to get these red backups. And he'll just have to get all of them. Or go for he's yeah, he's gonna go for this uh enemy over here. Which gives you three. And that's all he's gonna need. I, I guess there weren't quite that many coins in the arch, and plus he did collect like the, the bottom row without uh, the jump there, so. And I, I believe that you purposely enter the slide with one extra coin, even uh, in this layout, so that, or not one true extra, but you, if you collect every single coin, you'll end up with 99, if I remember right. That's correct. So all these factors combining. I made that mistake not quite as fatal as it looked for draw it. Para with the boo fatality though. Yeah, it started off with a punch uh, towards the boo, not uh, ground pound like you, you want, but able to clean that up pretty nicely. Oh, now draw is not able to get this wall kick here. Oh, just spaghetti. Very, very minor amounts just starting to leak out throughout this boot. A ledge grab there, just just little seconds coming off in various spots. Para, oh, Para just missing the star narrowly there. Oh no, draws! Having to wait for Big Boo to make his way over so he can collect the star finally. Not getting that third hit on the roof. Someone in chat asking, why did he go through the floor? Isn't that cheating? I, I, I'm i not sure what you're talking about, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm thinking through both of the stars in BBH, and I don't think there's an instance where you would go through a floor. But th there is a lot of stuff that you can do in this game that you wouldn't expect playing casually. It is still a very, very solidly built game overall, but there's a lot that you can exploit. Now, Para moving on into Shifting Stand Land. He's got two pluses to secure his lead against Draws for the time being. Tama, the double jump. And now the clip, very, very clean play. And Fluffy referencing a strat that we don't even see in this run, definitely cheating. <laughs> Here we go, pair up with the second plus. Getting confidence for the first one. The double. So clean. Wow. That is, that's just an incredible gameplay right there. I mean, even if Draws gets both of his pluses first try, he could still take a little bit of time loss just from how clean those were. Draws getting his first one pretty clean. Not losing very, very much time, if any, to Para at the moment. Yeah, Para starting to see uh, to find his groove. Uh, really, after kind of a shaky start, going with that side long jump off of the obelisk, really good. So let's oh. see. Okay, draws not quite moving while throwing the bomb on, so just having to throw it all the way away. He's not in the worst position ever. I'm gonna go ahead and grab himself the talon back up. Sliding down the pier. Oh, oh he's no! in the quicksand. That's a death. Uh, oh man. Yeah, too much speed off of the pyramid, and you do you, you do a 
a rollout there and your, your momentum continues backwards. Yeah, it would have been better off like holding up on the pyramid to try to slow down a bit and then neutraling. The, another death in the quicksand. This pair is already moving along in LLL. SSL quickly becoming a distant memory in his mind. But this nightmare is all too real for draws at the moment. First plus was so clean. Okay, he's got the Tama this time around. Double jump. And he's in there. Very, very nice. Okay. Why is Draw's camera so dark? He's streaming from within a sensory deprivation tank. That's how he's able to play so well. And Parrot going for the long jump lava boost. Very consistent as I'm... Commentator's precurse, it feels like. Oh, man. At least he'll be able to respawn inside the volcano, but... Oh. I, I like to go ahead and go for the pro boost instead. Pro boost. And then, there we go. Should have done that from wow. the start. Para making the probably best tutorial out there for that pro boost. Well, I, I again, I like Para's reaction to making a mistake. Just kind of nods the head, says, okay, I missed that. And then he goes for a harder strat and just nails it. Yeah, I, I honestly wonder if the uh, long jump boost might just be a little bit less consistent for him only because he doesn't normally use it. I mean, it should, in theory, be just an inherently easier, more consistent strat, but if you're not practicing it regularly because you're constantly doing the pro boost, uh, little things can just sort of pile up. Pair not getting the side flip there either, having to take a very, very long pull ride. Yeah, Draw's getting those reds done to start. But just now joining Para here in LLL. Para just needs to take care of a couple bullies. You know, I think he actually still has reds to grab as well. It's interesting seeing how people decide uh, what star order they're going to do and what star order they want the text box to be on. That actually does matter a fair bit, uh, dealing with that text box. If you're trying to do it on a star that requires movement as soon as you start it, uh, it, it can cause some problems sometimes. Yes, Para is playing in Italian, the, the language that does not use Latin characters, but instead uses kanji. Exactly right. Now draws one sliver of health, but gets that pro boost immediately. And then misses, excuse me, misses the star. Yeah, just narrowly missing it with the dive. Maybe off by a, by a pixel or two. Draws getting the punch instead of the uh, slide kick that he wanted. Now Para with some reds, that beautiful dive strap. Like you were saying last time, you just dive right through that fireball. Here we go. We've now got draws in his own elevator tour. Oh no, the long pause. Oh wow. What? That was a four second pause. That, wow. It felt longer than four. It felt like 10. That was a, that was a four to five second pause there from drives. That was like Tabascoth level pausing. Was, and, oh, oh no. He got it again. Rage Mario cam folks. It, it needs to be the new trend. Just spam R. It, your hand is even in a better position to spam R than to spam start. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of spaghetti on Draws' side. Did he save and quit? He saved and quit! Oh, no. Draws is just... Draws just not feeling it today, it seems. Yeah. Really unfortunate. And oh, oh, man. He's still got two stars left in LLL. I mean, it's not the worst possible situation, but it's pretty bad. Oh, man. Para, meanwhile, making some waves. No pun intended in DDD. 
I'm gonna be probably going for front sub if I had to guess. Yeah, he seems to be kind of putting Mario a little bit more to the left of the tunnel. Prepping for that camera movement. Now Draws is gonna go ahead and finish up his uh, LLL here. Oh, not getting the long jump off the flame shooter. At least mitigating that bully in all the right ways. Here, uh, front sub action, really nice. A little fake sink for y'all. Pretty sure that save and quit was intentional. I See, I didn't actually see the menuing, but I mean, I, I really don't know why he would have intentionally done that. I, I mean, I can understand, like, the, the theory of it being a rage thing, but uh, I... It's just even more detrimental to his time. I, I don't, I don't know. I, I don't quite see it. But Para dealing with those misshapen manta rings. Like I said last race, there is a bug in this game. Believe it or not, this game has bugs. And uh, one of them is that those visual hitboxes have basically no correlation with the actual ring hitbox. And many of the rings past the first five are effectively sideways with their hitbox. Oh, you know what it could have been, Nick? He he could have thought that he had menu glitch and didn't actually have menu glitch. Because just holding down will make the menu tick by very slowly. Okay, Para having a very, very awkward start to his lava boost attempt here. Yeah, a little bit awkward getting that third and fourth coin. I, I, I don't... No! Oh, okay, he's definitely not on pace for it anymore. I, I honestly don't think he was really on pace for it beforehand either. Getting bopped by the bully, but with a reverse bong. Kind of interesting stuff. As Draws finally makes his way into DDD. Oh, Pear's gonna have to take a late eight elevator cycle. Pretty big time loss. Draws missing the third chest. Draws uh, uses N64 controller mainly, right? Because I, I do know he's like done a couple of videos on Ahori, but I, I don't know if that was just like because of what he was doing in the video. Because the, the Hori stick does have snapback, so it could be what Super Viper was saying where um, like he, he thought that he'd already uh, hit the text box and like let the stick go. And that, that can cause a save and quit, but I, I don't think that he means on Hori. He does, okay. Yeah, I, who, who knows? It, it could have been intentional, but I, I, I don't quite see why he'd sandbag himself so badly just out of rage. Just like that, Para done with Fire C. Draws heading for front sub. It manages to get up there. A little bit dusty. Gonna miss the star. W what? <laughs> <laughs> Draw, draw seems to have thrown in the towel a little bit here. You're going for those non-stop strats, as chat's pointing out. Let's see how Draws fares with the Manta Rings here. Well, Para into Wet Dry World now. Oh, he already missed a ring. Okay. That second ring is really the only one in the first line of five that has kind of a weird box, but it actually sort of helps you a little bit. Wow, he, he really took his time. Yeah, Resetting let's everything. See. Let's see how he fares through these. Misses, oh boy, oh boy. I, I It's very easy to see why D would ever just decide to take a death instead of trying to deal with this. The, the ring boxes are, are so bad. Okay, does manage to find five rings that will get him through, but Hare's already working his way through Wet Dry World 100. Getting amped. It seems to be a common thread of today. It's unfortunate that uh, running with the amps direction is actually a bit slower and doesn't set you up as well for the side flip. Draws already more than likely miss Lava Boost Cycle with just a very, very weird opening. It seems to be falling apart. The Mario meltdown is real. The the candle wax comprising the being known as draws just dripping down 
along the, the candelabra. It's it, it's a messy site. Oh, oh man, this yeah. is th this looks like me running the game right now. I'm not sure if draws is in practice or not, but it, this seems to be a draws that hasn't been working on 70 star as much. Well, I, I think this is really due to just like all the tilt, honestly. I, I think this must be just a, a very, very tilted draws because he, he's demonstrated very high level play before. I, I'm not totally sure, but I think he's pulled out a 48 in races before. Just this. I, 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 don't, I don't know what exactly it is. Getting a very late elevator cycle. I, I don't even know exactly how to call that cycle. But Para working his way very solidly through Wet Dry World. D Draws is going to be missing another elevator. Okay, no, he is able to get the triple jump there, but not able to get himself to these platforms in the positions he wants. Taking some major lag right now just to have that more dead on camera angle. And the slide kick wow. here. Wow. You know that you can do that with the lava. Oh yeah, uh, the you can also do the same thing with a crazy box. Uh, it's only whenever the box oh, no. breaks that the lava hit will get detected. Draws narrowly making it out of the lava, and I'm not even quite sure what he was trying to do there. I, what? Oh, oh, oh my! What? Uh, 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> This is a thing. This is a thing. Okay, that's the star. Yes, draws. The star's right there. Yep, <laughs> we got it. We found it. There it is. Okay, it's draws. Just giving us a great view. Uh, uh, okay, is draws. Is he to look at the clouds or the star? Okay, draws. <laughs> draws. Like the star, draws. 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 draws! I think we're having an existential meltdown. By the way, Para is somehow uh, heading back downstairs before finishing up. Well, no, no, uh, I, I think he finished seconds. Wet Dry World and we and re entered by accident. Yeah. I, I, I'm not even. <laughs> uh, okay. Okay, what? Draw, okay. And now, now we see the elaborate painting known as Mario questioning his fate in the fire scene. The, the ominous dark clouds in the background showing Mario's internal struggle. Uh, and the, okay, I, I think draws forfeited. Yeah. Getting that confirmation on screen. Very unfortunate, but looks like Para will be going ahead and finishing out this run. Yeah, uh, unfortunate for draws. Uh, a forfeit does mean a 15 point deduction on their overall standings. Um, so that was, it, it's, it's difficult for him, you know. I, I will say, uh, you gotta complete runs, yeah, especially, you know, in races. Uh, Wasabi, number uh, seven, thank you so much for the subscription. Much appreciate getting some subscription hype. Yeah, I mean, you, you can get points all the way through five minutes after your opponent finishes. And that, that I mean, at this level and with, with the skill that we know Draws has, that, that would have very easily been possible, even with the start that he had. But it just, I mean, whenever that, that tilt builds up like that, that, that is something that's very, very, very hard to deal with. And uh, I, 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 I can somewhat sympathize with it, but like you said, you just got to finish. It's... There's too much of a penalty, not only not getting points, but effectively having that negative 15 points. Mm -hmm. It just, it, it's not worth it when every point matters. We've already got guys with, I, I think, like over 140 points or like over. Yeah, I mean, Punky already and huge cheese. numbers. Yeah, Punky and Cheese, 143, 142, respectively. Um, or excuse me, flipped it. Uh, cheese and Punky, 143, 142, respectively. But I mean, this is worth a longer discussion. Um, you know, unfortunately, you're talking about um, single runners who are dedicated to running constantly, trying to lower records, trying to get faster. Um, in a race situation, you know, you're, you're not you're not having the backing of a team per se. You're not, uh, you know, it, people like Para who are on Blue Esports or uh, Cheese with CLG. You know, um, they've got teams behind them per se. But uh, really, it's just you, and you get to make the decision whether you want to. Uh, finish the race or not. I mean, uh, 
something again something that's worth a longer discussion than we have right right here right now for sure um but yeah unfortunate but shout outs to para for going ahead and finishing out this run for us let's go ahead and see what he's got in ttm unfortunately not even able to really attempt breeze list having just some issues with that uh triple jump but i mean it, if you want to see just how hard it is go on the wiki and look up the video that has an input display with it there is a lot going on in that trick the guys that make it make it look very very simple but it, it's nothing like that it, it's a very very difficult trick but very, very nice waterfall star there. Now let's see how Para handles the rest of this tall, tall mountain. Got one more mountain clip star left to go. He's getting some really, really solid clips. That's the optimal uh, water movement that you want to see. Since uh, uh, whenever you land in that higher body of water, the reason Mario gets snapped up is anytime you land in a body of water, the game snaps you to its top, then calculates how far down to dive you. Pear <laughs> 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 just dropping his controller after that uh, top of the mountain <laughs> stuff. A little but, bit of um, swagger there on Pear's side. Yeah. But uh, what, what you saw Para do where he like landed in the lower body of water just briefly and then popped right over to the upper body of water that killed all of his downward momentum. So whenever he got snapped to the top, he stayed relatively close to the surface. And that does actually save a decent amount of time from the swimming you have to do sometimes. Proto man with the sob for five well, months. Thanks so much. I have a couple of subscriptions the past couple hours. Oh, yeah. I'm getting a very nice number. Can we go ahead and see some uh, GSA fires in the chat? Let's see some clocks. And the rollout there with the reds, Para. Very clean reds. Oh! The, the geometry of this maze is just masochistic. It's... Well, I, I hate the way this maze is made. Well, it's exactly like I said in the last race. You know, THI, then you have TTM. You know, TTM is bigger, but it has certain areas, specifically those reds where the geometry, like you said, those polygons are just so odd. Um, it's almost like you have to speed run it. Like if you, it, I think everyone knows this, but um, doing that, those reds casually, is is somehow way more insanely difficult than it should be. Yeah, it, it, it's all about the geometry of that area. Like when you when you kind of start manipulating the camera around and, and just seeing what exactly that wall looks like, like it, it looks like someone just kind of waved their hand around on the mouse when they were planning the polygons there and just tried to make some sense of whatever they'd drawn. Pair with the top of Snowman's head. Oh, not getting the speed kick, instead somehow getting a speed punch. I haven't seen that one around before. But still a very, very clean star. Gets that ground pound first try. That blind pound can be very difficult, especially in C down cam. Oh, you know what that was? He just wasn't holding A to uh, buffer the kick properly. Nice deep freeze as well. Just has to chill with the bully, and this will be a pretty clean snowman's land. Very, very, very nice to see. Snowman's land is its ultimately a fairly simple stage, but it's one where a lot of things can go wrong very easily. So it's always nice to see someone uh, manage to get through it unscathed. Yeah, it's nice to see Para in his groove, you know, since Fire Sea, really. Um, not really too many mistakes to speak of. Uh, a lot of early mistakes, but... You know, again, with these races, you can kind of start to get into a rhythm. Um, and so about halfway through, if you have some early mistakes here and there that you're able to shake off, uh, you're able to just kind of chug along. And he'll head downstairs into HMC. What? Uh, uh, okay. <laughs> I think he may have thought he was exiting course from HMC for some strange reason. I, I don't even know what that was either. Let's see this rabbit. I'm sure we're going to see a punch grab. Yep. Here 
and moving his way over to the Toad Star. And then finally getting on into the haziest of the Maze Cave. Now, since we're heading into HMC and we're only watching Para, I'd like to go delve into the universe of the uh, Mushroom Kingdom and the legal requirements for workers' comp uh, here in Haze Maze Cave in particular and just discuss what, what the legal ramifications of what Peach has done here. I mean, it's it's very obviously unsafe working conditions. I, I, I really feel like it's the site of some former petroleum mining, as you can see by this oil slick to enter the area. And I, I mean, I, I'm sure all of the workers' claims were settled out of court on some separate date. And uh, the only residents of this cave are the unfortunately mutated creatures. I mean, look at the scuttlebug. The, the scuttlebug looks like it's been exposed to more radiation than like 50 million x-rays. Para not quite getting that uh, first triple jump wall kick, but uh, side flip back up working. Not the ground pound, though. Kind of a last ditch effort to get the miracle to happen. Now, I, I do need the fan fiction for how Dory made her way out of Haze Maze Cave into the Super Mario Odyssey universe. I mean, eventually some environmental rights group came along and probably tried to clean up the cave, and I'm sure they just relocated her. I mean, there's no ceilings in HMC, so all you need is a crane and, you know, like some sort of canvas hoisting system. Oh, that's fair. HMC does need some government regulations. I, I mean, it's it, it's <laughs> very, very obviously a toxic site. Even those boulders, those boulders don't quite look right. I, I feel like there's like some type of uh, depleted uranium or something in there. I'm not even sure. Um, just unsafe working conditions. Shouldn't have to deal with rolling boulders at all. Nope. Giant meatballs of doom. What about these lanterns? I mean, they don't look very modern. They're probably uh, kerosene based or something similar. That's even more resources. Para getting the ledge grab. Unfortunately, slowing down the right side. Uh, amazing emergency exit. More so than uh, the time he would have gotten with the left side. Where oh. do the boulders go? Yeah, where does that pit even lead? Is, is there an even hazier, mazier cave down below that we just can't get to? Not sure. Don't know. But we are headed oh, now buddy. into... <laughs> we're heading now into Tippy. Uh, you know, obviously Tippy top of the castle. Finish up with Rainbow Ride and TTC. And it's one even these stages uh, aren't safe from Peach's influence. I mean, why is there just a random airship cruiser in this pretty peaceful, sparse sky community? It's, it's definitely Peach's worship. <laughs> oh, the glitchy walk kick getting pulled out. Wow. Beautiful Lakitu bounce. Para is wasting no time infiltrating this enemy base. And nice pull grab, too, you know, not having to deal with glitchy pull nearly at all. Awesome stuff. All right. Should be fairly smooth sailing now, but of course these other strats are not free either. Let's see what Star decides to go for next. Probably reds. I think we are still probably going to see that uh, signature para topside uh, swing and breathe. Thanks so much, Boat Fan, for the subscription. Six months. Having to come back. Get the booty bird! Okay, he's able to kind of walk it off. Not exactly sure how walking helps dissipate the heat, but it seems to work. I can do this kind of out of the way back up to maintain his speed. Oh man, by the way, that, that boat van sub? That was, was a, a tier, tier three. three. Wow, okay. I, Babies. I Insanity. Thank you so much, Boat Van. Boat Van, the cutie. generosity with the tier three. Love ya. Okay, now let's see what pair is going to go for. It looks like Tricky Triangle. Nope, it's going to be that, that uh, top side swinging in the breeze here. Narrowly getting that ledge grab there. 
very, very nicely pulled off. And that strat is just insane. But now the triangles are going to get tricky. Yes, my voice cracks. Thanks so much for pointing that out. <laughs> like any other person in existence ever. Okay, I don't... What What did Para just even do? Uh, that, was, he, that was very weird. Yeah, he must have been thinking he was going to be do, doing swinging in the breeze, but... Catching his mistake. That was that was really interesting. Okay. Nice we got Pear out. going for the risky rollout. Oh, getting a little bit bopped by this triangular platform, but he's he's making it up with plenty of time to spare though. Here we go. So now Para moving into the tickest, the talkest, that worst clock in existence. Starting off with the crown jewel, the hundred coin. No, no safety red on his part. Which triple jump looks good, getting that very, very slender wall kick. Scratching his face, making sure no distractions during this latter half. Things are about to get real. He's got the blues in hand. One, two, three. Wall kick off that very, very thin lip. You can see from that other camera angle. For whatever reason, Nintendo decided to extend that uh, cage just a little bit. They're trying for a double wall kick strap there, but not quite making it through. Does manage, however, to get a very, very nice set of wall kicks. Long jump straight off. That was super lucky. Yeah, he's, he's still pretty high on the clock. Yeah, that was really lucky that he had a. It wasn't like a bonk or something like that. Oh, but he gets invisible. Oh boy. You can see him just kind of chuckling about it. And this is the triple jump. He's going flying. Uh, the heave -ho. not reacting to his heave -ho. presence for some reason. The heave ho is a merciful god for today. He's going to go ahead and slap the heart just a little, little bit. Wants to recover at least some health, but one big fall, and he is donezo at 80 coins. So close to the end of this star. Gets a double wall kick strat this time around. Makes his way over to that center platform. Okay, he seems to be good to go, just needs to finish this off. Okay, he is safe. Yeah, that heave ho, it was... <laughs> I was half expecting that thing to just turn right and go dun 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 Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying for a wall kick based ending. Just gonna have to settle for getting on top of the thwomp though. Taking what looked like a little bit of a gamble. Uh, that the thwomp falling is actually somewhat random. And so, uh, he actually, I think, started moving before he even saw the thwomp start to move down, so... The gamble did, did pay off, though. Yeah, very Monka S100 coin. He managed to work out, though. And now, going for these triple jump wall kicks and the moving clock. Not, not exactly. I, I think a side flip just didn't come out there or something. That sounds Getting right. Penalized. Very, very clean. Four stars to go. Some more triple jumps off these moving platforms. Ooh, oh, oh! The ground pound on the very edge of the rotation. Oh, man. Wow. I mean... Okay, he's got one more to go. All right, this is one of my favorite stars in the Oh, the fat finger dive. Oh, is he able to, re oh, oh, very nearly able to recover that. And Mario getting pancaked. Oh man. In the meantime. I really hate to see it. That, that was I, that's happened to me too many times before. That was literally just his thumb accidentally hit B while trying to change the camera. All right, Aaron now moving along. 
What? He was about to try for moving reds. Oh, oh man. He's gonna do moving reds. He's gonna kind of do the uh, more basic method of it. Whoa! Taking a huge <laughs> he he's he's laughing laughing about it. Oh, man. Go back in with time stop, please. Okay, there we go. Oh, man. Moving reds is, is something else. Uh, Usamoon of uh, the Practice ROM fame actually has a moving red strap that is faster than time stop, but due to the time uh, that you uh, have to wait and due to the difficulty of the strap, uh, most people don't really go for RTA. It doesn't save very much, and it's, it's very difficult. We'll get to the cage there. A little bit of a weird rollout kind of hits the head against the ceiling there. Get inside the cage. Now one more time to stop. Nope, he's reds again. He's doing it. He oh, committing to those moving reds, man. Oh, oh man, the big old fall. He's trying again though on this other movement. It's pretty weird. You have to do this this double jump on uh, the very edge of this platform. Kind of move Mario in, in and out kind of weaving him so that he can actually make these platforms. He He's trying for it. Well, once he gets the rhythm started, I think he'll be able to finish it off. But yeah, yeah you, you can see the difficulty here, the way the platforms are. There we go. Okay. He's got think it He's going to manage it. Oh. Oh, okay. He's just got, I think, one or two more left to grab. Not, not very many. Ooh, he's trying. He's getting close. It's just getting that rhythm down. Once you have it right here, he's got it. And there it is, the eighth one. Just got to grab the star now. It is weird how high up that star spawns. I really don't quite understand. Uh, yes, Para knows. Um, they had a Discord call going when the race was being recorded. And so, um, or not a Discord call, like there's a Discord group that they could type in. And I'm sure uh, if Draws didn't directly say something in the group, uh, whoever was uh, monitoring the race went ahead and let Perry know. Otherwise, I, I definitely don't think that uh, he would have gone for a strat like that. Well, Para going to be finishing up here, looking at a mid-52, very, very low 53. We'll see how Sky goes, and let's see if he may have another unexpected surprise up his sleeves. Really long setup for that long jump. Triple jump okay, off the ramp. Right side. Moving. Oh! oh. He's gonna go ahead and go with the standing left side instead, not even bothering with the ledge grab. He knows where he needs to be aligned, looking at Mario's shadow. The elevator's on a little bit of a different cycle than he wanted. Does manage to get that ledge grab. Probably clean. And he's in that pipe. 52 is on the table, which needs the three throws to all go in his favor. First grab there, and this oh. is the second grab. Mario diving instead of getting into that hitbox. Oh, man. oh boy, no no deaths, please no deaths. Yeah, switching from regular OEM controller to Hori. <laughs> Finally getting the grab. He's got himself pointed there. And actually, uh, interestingly, uh, I, I think I remember Pear Pear mentioning before, he doesn't actually switch to a 4, he just switches to a different N64 controller that isn't, uh, uh, that he doesn't care about as much, frankly. Oh. Uh, because he doesn't have a steel stick, if I remember correctly. He'll get that third, and he will, will secure a 53. Uh, that, unfortunately, will be it for us. Uh, this was pre-recorded, like we stated before. Uh, but thank you so much for joining us. More races to come uh, in the next hour. Uh, Benji versus Ouija. Big old race there. Uh, so 
Yeah, that's going to be a super fun one. Both those guys, super young, yet also just super talented at this game. And it's it's going to be a really interesting race to, to see exactly who will dominate there. And then finally capping off our night, Tavis Goth versus Blue Esports Rock Chalk. It should also be a pretty great matchup. Both players of fairly even skill. Well, I'll be back, but Electric going to be heading out here. Padrona's going to be joining me here in a moment. Uh, thank you so much for joining me tonight. It's always a pleasure commentating with you. Oh, and with you as well. It's it's always such a pleasure. Well, stay tuned. We'll be back in just a moment. Yep. Don't go anywhere, folks. Peace out. <laughs> 